Hi, Ben Brown here with your CoachTrestle.com Game Recap. Ohio State was looking to add to the win column for the first time in three weeks. Following a tough loss to Penn State in October and a bye last week, they were off to Evanston, Illinois, where college football's youngest coach, Pat Fitzgerald, was ready to give Northwestern its first eight-win season since 2000. But with 13 straight Big Ten road victories and a 15-2 record after a loss under Coach Trestle, the Buckeyes had other plans. Let's get into it. The 24th ranked Wildcats decided to give Mike Kafka another go on the center. He's starting for the injured C.J. Boucher. Starting for the Buckeyes, a guy by the name of Terrell Pryor. He's only 6'6", six six, blinding speed, cannon arm. Pictured here, the 44-yard bomb to Brian Don't Call Me Rabisky Hartline. Three touchdown tosses on the day for Pryor, but this wasn't one of them. Very next play. Nobody covers a four-foot distance quite like Big Beanie Wells up the middle. Bucks up early 7-0. But unfortunately for them, Mike Kafka exists. Last week against Minnesota, he ran for 217 yards, Big Ten record for a quarterback, and he hasn't forgotten how to do so. In this drive alone, 35 yards on 10 carries, the last of which the icing to his cake, spinning into the end zone. Head coach Pat Fitzgerald's excited, not because he's a 33-year young college football Hall of Famer. His team's tied 7-7. Now at 240 pounds, Beanie Wells isn't hindered much by finger tackles in his career against Northwestern, averaging 9-plus yards per carry and improving to cornerback Jordan Maven that his arm is in fact stiff. He ups that average with this 55-yard score. Brutus Buckeye there politely informing him that his team is up 14-7. But not for long. Pryor takes it upon himself to find the other Brian for six. Rabisky now has a catch in 34 straight games. Now coming in, the Buckeye defense had held three straight opponents to under 300 yards, and the Wildcats were no different. Despite Kafka picking up a chunk here, they were held to 294 on the day, thanks in large part to James the Animal Lord Nitus' 16th career 10-plus tackle game. The running was on the wall. Laurinaitis actually averages more than 10 tackles against ranked opponents. A Northwestern field goal brought the game within two touchdowns, but in football they tend to give the other team possession after scores and Pryor took full advantage. Rolling right finds Hartline. This particular Brian averaged 45 yards per catch on the day. A couple plays later, Pryor ran for just 33 yards this game, but only because these horizontal juke-ridden scholarship justifying yards didn't count. It's a pass play! Six yards to Rory Nickel. And that is sign language for touchdown. Raise your hand if you're a true freshman. Yes, well, he's not too young to know that 3110 doesn't quite have the ring that 37 does in the fourth quarter now. Pryor from the pocket. Deep ball to a man who catches footballs well. That's Rabisky with his second score on the day. Things went so badly towards the end for the Wildcats that Jim Trestle felt the need to apologize for a touchdown in the final minutes. Final score, 45 10. Now the Bucks have won 28 out of the last 29 games against the Wildcats. This one just so happened to be Trestle's 50th career Big Ten victory. Pryor, 9 for 14, 198 yards, and out of the backfield, Beanie Wells, a buck 40 and two scores. Probably be a lot happier had he rushed for 141 yards, as his career rushing total now stands at an agonizing 2,999 yards. Odds are he'll gain at least three feet next week at Illinois.